Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome. It's me, Karen Valoria. Hello. Mc Oops. I'm on speaker. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Whoopsie. see. Let's try it again. Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's me, Karen Valoria Miguel, owner and founder of Canada Bliss Handmade Crochet Hats and Accessories. And today we are announcing the winner. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. I hope you're doing well, Rose Cottage Studio. It's good to see you. Where are you coming in from today? Let me know your city and your country. Hannah Neal, hi. Good evening. It's great to see you. I guess you're in North America since it's evening for you too right now. For others, I think it's like in the UK and stuff. It's in the, in the middle of the night. So I guess they can't make it with us, but I'm glad you guys are here. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you um, haven't, <laughs> the, the, if you, you're probably here because you want to know who won the winner of our great giveaway for spring 2021. So I am here to tell you, and thank you so much for participating. It was really lovely um, getting in touch with all of you. Okay, everybody, our chat's filling up, so I'm just going to say hello to the rest of us. We've got Rose Cottage Studios from Pennsylvania and Genesis Green from Texas. Hey there. Hey, Donna G. Where are you coming in from today? Oh, we've got lots of people from the States. Uh, Crystal. Oops. Crystal Hodge from Kentucky and Charlie Stormy Snow Blood Bloodsaw. Wow. That is a YouTube cool name. So good evening from Lexington, South Carolina. And Melissa Fuller popping in. Hello, it's good to see you. Sherry, addicted to crochet. Good evening, friend. Hannah Neal, people from California. Rihanna, hello from Iowa. And uh, Maribel. Oh, and Julie Woolly Knits from Niagara Falls, Canada. Did I ever tell you that I was born in St. Catharines, Ontario? You probably didn't know that. Uh, I was born in like in the Niagara Peninsula of uh, of Ontario. So I am totally a Niagara gal. We used to cross the border all the time. I remember I got my first pair of roller skates at the um, at the Toys R Us across the border in Buffalo. Yes, I have wonderful memories of Niagara Falls and growing up in St. Catharines. Love it there. And uh, we've got Wendy from Oklahoma. Hello, Wendy. And Sherry addicted to crochet from Illinois. Hi, Janice from Pennsylvania here too. We got my Pennsylvania gals. I love Pennsylvania. I love driving through there, especially on the way to Florida. I can't wait to get back into the States again when I can go traveling. My, me and my family are just, oh, we are itching to finally go away. But I think we have to wait one more summer before all of this world stuff clears and then we can finally vacation again. Our first trip is back to Disneyland. We gotta go there. Uh, Sarah from Tennessee, hey there. And Melissa from Niagara Falls, yes. Nicole Munns from Bradford, Brantford, and Nara Crochet. Hello, hello, Canadian gal. Oh, is this so true? True. Niagara Falls ice wine is the best. <laughs> it is the best. Oh, when was it? I think it was just before the lockdown. We got to go to the Peller Estates, and we went to Wayne Gretzky's. It was just the perfect day. It was like warm. It was it was sunny. The gardens were fantastic. The wines were amazing. Oh, I just I want to go back there. I would love to share my pictures because they just they remind me of like just being out with people and having fun again. Oh, it was so much fun. But yes. Hello from Toronto, Latonia. Good to see you. You know, I'm just like 40 kilometers from T Toronto. That's where my, my, one of my big yarn warehouses are in Toronto. So that's where Diamond is, if you don't know about Diamond Yarn. So if you're big into, if you're needing wholesale, I'll hook you up. Anyway, here is uh, Michelle Carter from BC. And uh, great, lots of people, because I hope you are here to, and you've already entered the giveaway because I am a raring to go, aren't you? <laughs> I'll just Michelle Underwood. Hi, hi from Virginia. Nara from from where are you from? Toronto. You want to be fun to get together after the lockdown? How are you guys doing with like this this new Ontario one? 
kind of brutal, right? Because like Toronto has been down forever, but it's okay. Hang in there, guys. At least we have crochet. We have crochet, you know, once we start doing that, then it unlocks a world for us. So Angela Davis, hi from, hi from Michigan and Indiana and Flo from Indianapolis. Yeah, Latanya, totally check them out. Uh, they have a lot of stuff. And once I start visiting there too, maybe we could like meet up. That'd be fun. Glenda Humphrey, hello. Oh, oh, you're left-handed. That's a uh, that's okay. You know what? They asked me to also teach at um at uh, there. But the truth is, literally, have you gotten vaccinated yet, guys? I don't know. Like, I apologize if anyone's an anti-vaxxer, but we have to get vaccinated. My husband's in a teacher, and we I do a lot of like stuff for like church and stuff like that. So I really want to you know keep people as safe as possible. Anyway, little story. I got vaccinated on Monday, and wow. <laughs> the totally the side effects like wiped me out like it's worth it because you don't want to end up in the hospital long term right you've got to put a little bit of that in your body so that you can fight it off and if you have an average immune system it's like no problem but boy I had a fever a little bit of a fever like on Monday and my arm still hurts but it's okay I'll take that any day aside from like just being healthy and happy and being able to continue doing what I'm doing Oh yes, we should we should totally crochet together. It's my it's totally my favorite therapy. It is absolutely and it's got me it's got me through so many like tough situations like if you watched my first video you see like all I did when my husband was sick before was crochet and he's fine now and now I'm still crocheting but when I'm worried about my kids it's just yet yeah, crazy. Rose got vaccinated. Wait, did you get vaccinated? Oh, you're so lucky. You must have had one of the really, really good gentle ones like Pfizer or Moderna. I got uh, AstraZeneca. I'm not saying don't get it, but like if you can get anyone, just get it because you need it, right? But I'm just happy I have it. <laughs> I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just so happy I have it. It just... For those of you in the States, I know you guys, um, you get things so much quicker than we do, but uh, I'm just so glad that we have it now. And... Um, so just stay registered and st and register with all of the pharmacies too. Cause that's how I got mine actually registered with Walmart. And then I couldn't get in while well, they weren't calling me. So I registered with Chopper's Drug Mart, PharmaSave, uh, Rexall, uh, anyone who was taking any, any registrations. And then I was still waiting for the beginning of May to be, to go for my appointment at Walmart. And I got one at Rexall and they were like, come Monday. And then I heard that there was a place in, there's a place in the GTA called Metavale. It's in Mississauga. They were doing walk-ins. My friends went to the Metavale one, but anyway, I went to the one in Milton, which is a Rexall and, piece of cake 24 hours later look at me i'm live streaming <laughs> so no problems and crocheting too so let's see oh you know i understand when people are worried about getting the shots that's why i don't like if you can't get the shot or you're just scared about getting it i have a very good friend that i used to work with she totally can't she has certain allergies like shellfish fish other kinds of stuff and so she's worried about getting it so i don't fault her at all like um some people can't and I'd worry about it. My son, I'd be worried about because he has a lot of anaphylaxis sort of stuff like, you know, so I I'd, I'd worry it like if you if you're not comfortable. I mean, and I know some people just don't vaccinate at all. Oh, you get your second one. I'm very lucky. I probably won't get my second one till probably August. So oop, I'm really, really far back in the shot here. So anyway. Oh, look at my piece of paper. This is a sweet. Oh, I want it before we get started with the giveaway. Thanks, guys. We're popping all in. Before I get started with the giveaway, I wanted to do a little bit of happy mail because there's a there's so many um, different fun things that arrived in the mail this week. One of them is like truly happy mail because it's from a viewer who sent a uh, yarn for me to kind of review and and take a look at. So. I'm going to share this with you because I think it's like very, very pretty yarn. So take a look at this. This one is kind of came from in the mail just this week. And it is from Chameleon Yarns. It's hand dyed. These are hand dyed yarns. They're amazing. These ones are Merino. I'll show you her website. She has an Etsy site. But look at this. Oh, it's lovely. 
Oh, wait, it's merino and nylon blend, which is nice because that means like it won't pill. And about 76 yards. I could totally, I'm going to do a yarn review on this, but it is as nice as it looks. Look at the colors. Now, the beautiful thing about, you all probably know, like with hand-dyed yarns, no two are the same. So you can make just beautiful things with this. I think, yeah, I'm going to do, a, I'm going to make up a, I'm going to do a yarn review and make something up with this because the colors are so pretty. Very springy. It's totally my palette. Look, you know, I wear pink and like green and I know, right? Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Here, I'm going to share you, share with you her site. So you can, oh, don't take a look at that yet. We're not going to pull the name just yet. Give me a few minutes. I just want to show you a few of the things first. Okay. So this is Chameleon Hand Dyed Yarns. Let's take a look. Oops. So she has these. And she's kind of just getting started. Um, she had written me a, lo a lovely letter. This is the letter that I printed out here. She started when she was like around eight years old um, doing knitting and crocheting. And then she eventually got into hand dyeing yarns and fan like I don't hand dye yarns like who here hand dyes yarns because it's so brave <laughs> it is so brave so her family gifted her like those tubs that you need in order to do the hand dyeing and it is just gorgeous so I've got her her site up here and I'm opening the second scheme second scheme you know what I find a uh, fascinating about this look at this Wow, this is a very, very rich kind of like bluish purple. And I'm like very picky about my merino. This one is superwash merino and nylon as well. And it's called Azul. So the thing about getting dark colors is you know the number of times that it's so hard to get a true dark yarn because like you'll end up sometimes with like charcoal you know how hard the yarn dyers it is for them to get like a true black because it is just so hard to get like a very dark color and look how solid it is like i've bought in merino yarn where the strands on the merino it's like you know stringy but then it's kind of a bit of the character that you get in the yarn but i gotta hand it to her she like she nails it on the dyeing this is amazing Toronto and Ontario people, let me know if you know any hand dyers, because um, I do, I'm looking for uh, somebody for a very, very large yarn company who, who's looking for a full-time hand dyer. So if you're in Ontario in the Toronto area and you know like strong hand dyers, please let me know because we, um, I'm helping a big company recruit for hand dyers. But anyway, that's besides the point. In terms of chameleon yarns, I hope you guys will check her out. I will put the link below as well and then do a, a, a yarn review later on of Chameleon Yards. Now, she if you're in the States, she I believe she'll ship for free. I believe she's, she wrote me about shipping for free. She's also on Instagram too, coffee bean knit. Coffee underscore and bean underscore knit. I'll put her link below too. So if you were looking to create like original one-of-a-kind gifts or whatever, then you can check her out. This is not... Like, this is not a sponsored post because I just, I love, like I told you, like last week, I just love supporting people who, handmakers, I just love handmakers who like make stuff. Ooh, my friend, she's from Montreal. Um, She make, she's a painter and then she made these, her paintings into pochettes. Isn't that pretty? So like, not just crochet, I like just love handmade stuff. So now I put my hooks in here. I got to find a better way to keep my hooks. I still keep it in this really old vinyl, this, this old vinyl boy <laughs> zip set. Oh my gosh. How old is this? It's been everywhere with me. It's been to so many different countries. It hardly shuts, but I just, I'm attached to it. You know, I have a hard time like switching to, to new things when, cause I get used to getting productive with regular stuff. So um, I get, I get, I keep the same kind of stuff. And this is last week in my live stream, this is the ergonomic hook that I was telling you about that attaches to any of the boy hooks. And I mean, I, I showed it in my other wellness video. I'll put a link here if you want to take a look at the wellness video, but this is the hook I was talking about and that I'm a boy girl, a boy girl. <laughs> of a boy hook person like boy hook crochet hello chris nabel from alabama 
So I just, yeah, I, if you've got skills, you've got patterns you want me to try, you want to show me some of your yarn or your Etsy shop, ding me on Instagram or YouTube. I'd be happy to like ch chit chat with you. So yeah, and funny, funny enough, the reason I brought this up, like up with me to my little recording studio for today's live stream was because I also have a little bit more mail. This one I ordered on my own because last week, uh, I was inspired from my from the the tagging from Dabbling Hook when they tagged me in the crochet questions and a lot of them were about hooks. I realized, yeah, I don't try a lot of other hooks only because I'm I'm used to what I'm used to. But so much is like so much technology, so many people creating hooks like that. There was that one viewer. I don't know if you're here today, but there was a um there was a viewer who makes like these clay poly uh what did she say they were clay something but she put them on the hook and they were just lovely so she sent me a link and uh hello cindy from illinois and d wolf hello i just want to say hey to hello to you guys anyway when we were getting on talks about crochet i thought you know what i'm i gotta be like more open to trying new things like I know I've been like just running my business, running my business, no time to try new things, just like stick with what works and and all of that sort of thing. But like now that there's YouTube, I've kind of revamped my vis business so it's more focused online and um, like pivoted a little bit into more into teaching, that sort of thing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give other hooks a try. So I want to hear from you. If you are a boy hook fan, what hook do you also use? Because what I've done is I went and I bought more different hooks and I'm, I'm going to do a test and some of them arrived today. So ta -da! some of them arrived today and I'm literally opening this up because I know which is the first few that arrived. Okay. Because the first one was when I was in, been interviewed on uh, Alicia, uh, Little John Yarn's site, she was like, she was hook shaming me. <laughs> Not really, but she was funny because she's a huge Susan Bates fan, okay? She's a huge Susan Bates fan, okay? And I have nothing against Susan Bates. It's just like they, they, I'm going to try them and I'm going to like give my, give my fair thought about it. And if it's better for me, I might switch. Like that is a, that's a pretty, I like the weight of it. Okay, what is the Charlie? Tulip Etimo and Clover Amour. Okay, then you're gonna like this because I also got, ta-da, I got a Clover one. I got a Clover hook. Let's see, focusing. I got a Clover hook. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I'm gonna try new things in life. <laughs> so what I did was I bought about hmm, five, five millimeter. They're all going to be five millimeter. I also, Veronica, yes. I have my clover hook here, but yes, in the mail, my, my furls hook, I bought a furls hook. Boy, was it expensive, but I, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta know what the thing is about these clover hooks. And when I get them, I'm going to like show them to you because now that they're arriving, I'm like, Ooh, these are pretty. It's fun getting new things. So I'm going to try this. What do, what does our friend Michelle say? She uses Boy. Then her husband got our Clover set a few years ago, and she's been using them ever since. Surprised myself totally. Okay. You know, I can see why it looks really comfortable. Look at that. Gra but I'm going to save it for a hook review. So have you, if you guys have hook reviews on your channel, I'd love to see them because I want to know what you liked about it. And I'm going to try and not watch them before I get reviewing these hooks on my own. And everything is going to be like the world versus boy. <laughs> okay. The world versus boy. And I'm going to see if it's like, should I switch or should I consider carrying around a different hook? So, but wow, you guys really like these clover hooks. So I am interested and it arrived fairly quickly. So that's going to be fun. Okay, guys, I know why you're here. <laughs> it's not just to, for me to reiterate what we did in the, in the other live stream, but I am going, 
going to uh, let's cut. Oops, how do I? Uh, I'm going to soon get uh, our winner off. Okay, let's see. But let's see. I use boy hooks, however, bought a few others and haven't gotten into, and I haven't gotten into yet. Like you haven't tried them, or you haven't uh, you haven't liked them enough to keep going with them. Because uh, I guess that would be suppose supposedly like it would be fair enough to say. And uh, clover is supposed to be the best. We shall see. I I wouldn't mind having some choices because they do look pretty fancy and comfortable. Just when I was growing up, it was just either plastic or steel. So yeah, okay. Remember this? Ta-da! It's right here waiting for somebody to win. So I am going to put on my, uh, oh, here, one more from Flo. Boy, for me, the squishy ones, but I love my frills with the metal head. The handle fits my giant finger so well. I hear a lot about these frills ones are just fantastic. You know what I guess? I guess like because they kind of go into this kind of longish egg shape, I was like, when your hands get sweaty, don't they kind of move down the handle? That's one thing I'm gonna wonder about when I finally get my frills hook. I'll be curious about that. What I'm going to, I haven't come with a project to try them on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one of my most popular hats that I make all the time and I'm going to make the same hat with each and every one of the hooks. That way, like I'm comparing apples to apples. I'm not trying to do more complex, uh, like, hook, like stitches with one or the other, but then I'll, I'll kind of like compare them and, and review it. So then I know for sure, like what I, like what truly is a strong um, hook. So, and if you have a lot of other, if you have any other questions that you want me to include in the crochet evaluation, drop them in the chat because I would love to hear what you would like to know about these hooks if you haven't tried them. Because I want to help everybody know if they should go out and buy some clover hooks or furls hooks or whatever. That would be pretty cool to know. Yes, I I know. Like there are a lot of places people who um, crochet and review different hooks, but we don't all crochet the same too. So if you're a pencil crocheter, they, I like know that I am too, but I will be trying the knife crochet as well, just to see, you know, how well it works. Latonia, Dollar Tree. Do we have Dollar Tree in Canada? I always thought that was a US thing. Um, anyway, I don't know where there's a Dollar Tree. Everywhere I at live, we only have Dollarama. So I didn't. I don't know if they sell crochet hooks, but I'd be scared of like buying Dollar Tree ones because, well, I, I'm not near any Dollar Trees. <laughs> um, and then Cindy's chirping in that the Dollar Tree ones are great, but when you crochet for long and the handle gets warm, the rubber holder slides off. I have tried hooks where that happens. Okay, and some of these hooks are not cheap, but like, what's what's up with that? Like, how come the hook isn't all the way through the like the the cushy thingy? That's you know what? If someone knows, does in this clover hook, my friends, does this hook run only up to here, or does it continue through the handle? I want to know this because I'll tell you one thing: I am rough on my hooks. Like once I get making stuff, I am like pounding. And if this, if a hook can't take it, it will fall apart on me. <laughs> I've gone through hooks and so many like ergonomic handles because I'm like, once I get going, it's like, don't stop, don't stop. If you can't keep up with me, then <laughs> it, it'll like disintegrate in my hands. <laughs> but that's what I'd be wondering. Does anybody know? Um, let's see. I got the plastic ones from Dollar Tree and not one issue. I find it's not an issue if you can get, if it most any crochet hook that's really, I don't know, I'm not that picky with like, okay, before I announce it, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you my opinion about something. Here's the thing. I'm just going to take a, a nice big hook for you to, to, to like, for me to comment on. Ah, here, I, I, I give this one for free in my cro crochet classes. But the thing is that I look for in a crochet hook is one that the hook, duh, the hook, like, oops, there is straight. So like, you know how it goes like this, that this is straight. So I like 
said so like I scrutinized to make sure it is like perfectly straight so it doesn't snag and split the yarn. And then second, I, I usually look for it to be one long piece because generally if you don't have ergonomic issues, a nice solid one that doesn't bend is perfect. I've used plastic hooks too where I, while, while I'm crocheting and I start like, you know, really hammering it up, actually bent. Do you ever use one? Because <laughs> I used to crochet um, lace too when I was young. So my eyes are, are dead. But like, you know, when you use these like lace hooks and you're crocheting and crocheting and because they're so, so slim, have you ever like bent it? like over an hour or two because you you're just like crocheting and crocheting or maybe I'm just I think I have like crochet angst <laughs> and I'm just maybe I hold things just way too tight no wonder I have like tendonitis issues but um yeah that's what, like I just need the whole I need the crochet hook to stay straight that's all I need it to do and stay in one piece if it falls apart that's not a good sign so yuck for that okay so I am going to prepare my other screen because I'm going to do a screen share and we are going to see who won the giveaway. Huh, Michelle. Yeah, the metal heats up then bends. Huh, look at that. I'm like, my hands are an inferno. <laughs> okay. So we are going to see who won this spring giveaway. And this time I'm not going to wait so long to do another one because... I am having so much fun with these. So I'm gonna add this to the stream and we're gonna put the, the video into our comment picker. And you're all seeing this well. The winner, <gasps> Sydney Fanord, Sydney Fanord. Are you out there? Sydney Fanor, congratulations! Congratulations! I hope you all join me in the comments below once this video is published and congratulate Sydney with, with me. And um, Sydney, I'm going to find your address in the list of email, uh, li the, in the email list that uh, I had posted before because you have probably have your ballot in there. And if she doesn't, well, I guess I'll have to draw again, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure she would have probably done that. So congratulations to her. Now don't tune out yet because even though she will win this basket of goodies, I am going to choose a surprise second winner and send out a couple more hooks. We're going to send out two more Knitter's Pride hooks, size four and size five. And I'm going to draw the winner right now. Are you all here with me? Who's in for the second surprise draw? Who's in? Are you in? Okay. I'm going to draw a second surprise draw winner for hooks. So let's try, draw one more winner for our second prize. And we got the thing in here. Get YouTube comments. Okay, folks, it's like Lotto 649 Encore. Start. Noreen Razi. Noreen, congratulations. So ladies, stay tuned and stay subscribed because I will be continuing to do more giveaways in the future. I already have half of the next giveaway. And oh my gosh, it is... It's good, guys. It's good. It's got like tools, tools you will love. Oh, yes. So anyway, um, I'm going to publish this video. And please, again, join me in congratulating our friends, Noreen. And uh, I forget the first girl's name, but where she's going, we're going to congratulate her as well. And then send them out their special gifts. And friends, thank you so much for supporting my channel and staying in touch. Send me any questions and conversations. And I hope that you all keep well and safe and have a self, self, healthy, safe and happy hand making life. And guys, stay well. Okay, so I'll be signing out now. And I'll see you soon. See you probably by next week. Take care. Bye, guys.